All right, guys, we are doing some more car camping here. Got Molly back there. We're pretty far from home in a state park I've never been in, in uh, Wyalusing, so along the Iowa Wisconsin border in Mississippi. And I've just got to the camps campground. I'm trying to find a site, trying to decide. I'm just indecisive. But check out these views over here. Where I live in Wisconsin, you don't see stuff like this. And obviously apologize for the wind, but... Wow. We're gonna try to find a site here. The wind is kind of... Making it hard for me to decide where I want to go. So I think I'm going to go back around to the other side. Won't be as great as a, of a view. Actually, these sites aren't electric. They have a good view, of course, because who would book the inside sites if they weren't electric? So I get it. Let's find our spot. A, trying to find a flat spot in this campsite and I'm just going to make sure I'm close enough to the pedestal so I can get power to the car so I'm going to go check that out in a minute. First things first I got to book my campsite here. COVID kind of ruined the whole pick your spot and go put money in a drop box. The old way of reserving a campsite to the glass so. Now you have to do everything on your phone so it makes it easy as long as you have service. If you don't have service, I guess you pay when you get home, but you just log on to the site, pick your spot, and uh, Wisconsin State Parks make it pretty easy. So. All right, let's get I'm back here. Bed in a bag. The zipper. Got a couple of chunks of fire away from home. It's hard to buy wood. Yeah. I have so much of them to use. Did buy a roll on the way here. That's my tote of. Kind of mainly came out this weekend to try this one out. Harbor Freight electric chainsaw. Chainsaws are definitely frowned upon in most campgrounds. Probably this too, but if I can drag someone up here and cut it up, why not? Trusty chair. Always bad. So right here is the Wisconsin River. That's Prairie du Chien, and then the Mississippi's right over here in the background. Pretty neat. Sorry for the wind, it's pretty, pretty, not pretty breezy up here, but this is awesome. What a view. Uh, you don't get this where I live, so worth the drive.
Well, Molly, I don't think you're going to... <laughs> That's pretty cool. Try? Yeah. Alright, come on. Gonna stop take a break. Molly's ears flapping in the wind. How windy is this? What a good one. This place is like awesome in the summer or fall. All probably in the same way. But I still have to go to the snow. We'll see. Maybe next year. I don't know. The goal is to see a train. Cool building here. Check this out. Parks. I can tell you history and what you're looking at. This is in the history before 1800, so fur traders in the Mississippi, Native Americans, so we'd be right in here. It's pretty cool. This is the Wisconsin River, and then just the Fox River is right here. That's kind of my neck of the woods. Mississippi right here. It's neat. Well, we're getting somewhere here. This is quite the trail. I'm just not used to this. In uh where I live where it's flat, so it's pretty cool. Come here. This is dedicated to last passenger pigeon in Wisconsin. This is kind of sad here. This species became extinct through the th uh, adverse and thoughtlessness of man. We made it. We're down to the tracks. That's where I wanted to be. That was a good two or three mile hike. Uphill, downhill. Pretty good. Let's check out the Mississippi River. And hopefully we can see a train. Checking out some of the signage down at the boat launch. Talking about the eagles we saw one earlier, that was pretty cool. Frogs, fish, it's pretty awesome. Here comes our train. Well, we missed the train, which stinks, but that was a longer than I thought walk, if you know what I mean. I got sweaty. No, I'm cold. Let's go dress in layers. We're gonna get started 
on dinner here. I know it sounds weird because it's daylight outside and usually I make it when it's dark, but the wind is kind of getting better. I kind of have you guys in the doorway of the car because this camera is terrible with wind. I'm going to have to switch to something else. And I apologize for that, but no external cameras or no, no external mics for this camera. It sucks. I really want to give this chance a try. I just hope I don't get busted. I understand not using gas chainsaws. I mean, they're loud. But this thing is probably going to be silent. I've got an adapter for a Milwaukee battery. Amazon. And it works. Put some oil in there and let's cut up some of this little wood I got or found. Alright, let's give this a shot before another car comes here. Pretty good. usual fashion we're gonna get our dinner started late here <clears throat> nor the dirty pan I tried to do the bread on the pan and it did not work out because I forgot spring wheel but the hamburger should give off some grease to get that kind of scraped off and maybe add a little flavor I don't know all right guys we're uh Ready to go to bed. Kind of all tucked in. Molly's down here. I don't think you can even see her. Probably not. But ready to go to sleep. Get the heater set to 68. It's kind of chilly here, actually. The thing, I don't know, kicks on intermittently. But um, yeah, I'm ready for bed. A couple long hikes today. Oh. <sighs> Seriously, pretty good. So we'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning. It's not too early. Daylight savings this weekend, so we lost an hour last night. But slept pretty good. I stayed nice and warm. I've got the heater there. You guys can see. 70, probably like 70, like here, and more like 55, 60 down here, which is fine. While he's baking in the sun, we're gonna get up, we'll go for a nice walk, eat a little breakfast, and then we're gonna take off. guys that's gonna do it for this week's video appreciate you watching probably the end of car camping uh, should be back to regular camping coming up soon since there's no snow so 
And next video is going to be us up at camp, taking uh, Chloe and Molly up next weekend. So we're going to get some spring fours done, and we'll catch you then.